Hey folks, how's it going? This is Bill with the Hangar Rats, and we've got a quick one for you here tonight. Well, kind of quick. It's a kind of recap of questions that we asked a lot of folks at the Aviation Content Creators Award ceremony this past July up in Wichita, Kansas. So we had a, had the ability to talk to a couple new tubers and a couple old tubers and get their ideas on a couple of things. Really kind of a fun time. That was at the first ever Aviation Content Creators Award ceremonies. Really, it was it was an aviation content creators weekend and they had some some awards in the uh, one evening but it was a lot of fun for uh, folks visiting folks who are youtubers and whatnot so uh here's a recap of a bunch of questions we asked them and please do make sure you come back at the end um <clears throat> we've got some updates for you on the 2021 content creators get together so we'll have that info for you uh have a lot of fun Listen to it, and in the meantime, while you're watching, hit that uh, like and subscribe button. So we'll see you in just a little bit. Why do you YouTube? I just like showing people what we do. Why do you YouTube? Why do I YouTube? Why do you YouTube? For me, I struggle a lot in verbalizing everything that I'm thinking so I kind of did it to help me be able to talk through what I'm thinking about things like that mm -hmm. and I also really want to get the uh, younger generation excited and interested and into aviation because I started doing this stuff when I was uh, 15 years old why do you YouTube okay so my girlfriend asked me this a while back and I just sit there like you know I don't really know why and I thought about it and I realized I do YouTube because I really enjoy sharing my experiences with people and, and the joy I get from them. Uh, and sometimes even when they're not even paying attention, you know, I'll just be uh, rambling off about it okay. and not even notice. But I just love sharing things. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, hard one. What equipment did you start with and what do you use today? An iPhone <laughs> and an iPhone. Uh, I and have an some, iMac. I have some Garmin verbs that I use, and then I have a, like a DSLR or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what equipment did you start with, and what do you use today? Uh, I'm going to turn that one over to him. Yeah, well, your camera equipment. What do you start? What was your, your first videos? What were your. Oh, he's coming around. Oh, he's, man, you guys are he's, so, he's so also got, part of the YouTube channel. Yeah. So, oh, awesome. Yeah. What? You want me to hold that? Oh, i got to show off this, though. He's going to show off this. So we got the USR. Hold on, who's this? This is Dalton. Dalton Henry. I'm the, <laughs> I'm the editor. Dalton. Dalton Henry, yeah. <laughs> He's the one that tries to make me look good. Okay, cool. So you got an EOS? USR. Mm -hmm. Love it. I, uh, I've shot Canon for like a few years already, but I just barely got this, and that's what we started on. We've got two GoPro Hero 8s. Oh man, fancy. And Rich kids. We just barely got it. You should want to take a look at our bank account. Yeah, I'll tell you why. It's not good right now. <laughs> yeah, that we're, uh, we're all in. <laughs> what yeah. equipment did you start with, and what do you use today in order to video and stuff? Um, I used to start out with my phone, but now I'm starting out with GoPros. And GoPros? Okay. Yeah. yeah, when you first did your first video, what were you using? Uh, I used GoPros and uh, uh, I had this uh, three, yeah. and I never was very thrilled with that. So uh, right now I've got uh, three sevens and three one sevens. eight. Okay. And, uh, but what I found is is the GoPro, and I was for a while I was using just the iPhone for my stand-up stuff because GoPro I think is not very good for that, at least for me. Mm. So I was using an iPhone, but now I use this uh, Sony uh, RX100 Mark Seven, and it has got it is amazing. Oh, really? It is really, truly, really good. Yeah, it's it's got uh, really, really fast autofocus, and, and you can set it to follow you. So if you're if you're standing up and you're the kind of person who's not locked in one place, like I usually move around, it keeps focus. And uh, you can put a, it's one of the first ones you can put an external mic on. Oh, sweet. And I, what I do is is actually I wear a lab mic mm. with wireless, and then I then I wireless into the the camera. Okay. What equipment did you start with, and what do you use today? So I started with a GoPro Hero Session 5. It's like this tiny little, that one right there. 
Watch kind of, it, watch it, be nice. Nice, nice little tiny camera. <laughs> and it was great, and I just had the GoPro head mount. Yep. Had on my head, and then realized, I mean, I knew it, because you need the audio, mm -hmm. or else you just, yeah. it's kind of hard to make something out of it. And so I got an audio cable, mm -hmm. and that's, that was my starting point. And okay, here you go. What equipment did you start with, and what do you use today? Well, let's see, from six weeks ago, it's about the same <laughs> equipment. <laughs> so everything from an iPhone to a GoPro to, um, we did get some lavalier mics recently, and that helps. Does YouTube benefit your personal aviation experience? YouTube totally benefits my personal uh, flying experience because of that. Because airplanes are flying by, I'm out here, I've ridden in two more airplanes that I've never ridden in before. It's awesome. Um, I have 80 airplanes in my logbook and as of today, I have 83. Awesome. And I cannot be more happier. Does YouTube benefit your personal aviation experience? I think it does. Okay, cool. Okay, does. Does YouTube benefit your personal aviation experience? I think it does, uh, especially recording myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I get to see all my bad habits, and even ones I've picked up from flight simulation and just flying them out, and I get to, you know, be aware of them and, and start trying to hack away at those bad, ha bad habits. Okay. Um, I'm sure there will be a negative someday it just hasn't happened yet okay is there a negative to being on YouTube the only negative is some people will be rude but just don't listen to them okay is there a negative to being on YouTube uh, yeah absolutely you you know it takes an extra hour you know on the ground with the plane getting the camera set up and making sure everything's working it's tough. It's okay, tough. cool. Is there, here you go, is there a negative to being on YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, next. <laughs> yeah, for me, I don't know. Sometimes, I mean, I'm always safe, but sometimes it's just like, I want to go do things and I don't want to think about, like, I don't know, I don't always wear my shoulder straps. So yep. Stuff like that, the little stuff. Yeah, you're going to be... I always, you can be trolled on anything. Yeah. 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 Okay. Alright. What would be one piece of advice to give new YouTubers? Well, he is one, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have a brand new. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> one piece of advice. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Panic. Panic. It's a panic. <laughs> I think. Just try to mellow out and don't be so scripted and focused on whatever you're doing. Like, think about the people, think about your audience. Yeah. Sometimes I want to do things my way, but I'm not. I'm not really doing it for me. Like, I want people to be entertained and, and get excited about whatever I'm doing. So, make sure the audience feels included in what you, whatever you're doing. What Excellent. one piece of advice to give new YouTubers? Uh, Start slow, you know, try to do one thing at a time, you know, you know, you start with, I, I start with iMovie mm -hmm. and, and learning how to cut the videos and get these fast cuts and, and tell what you want to show, show what you want to, you yep. know, and then I slowly, you know, got a new, got Final Cut Pro 10 and started improving my editing and then after I, you know, got good at that, and I got another camera and added a second angle. And I try to build it one step at a time. I'm, not, I'm, trying, not, I'm trying not to rush into it too much because I know it's a slow process that okay. needs to be perfected. Here we go. What would be one piece of advice to give new YouTubers? One piece of advice. I, would, I mean, it's like I do it not because I have a whole bunch of followers, but I do it because I like to do it. And I feel like I want to tell these stories of other women. I want to try to encourage other women to do things mm -hmm. that are outside of their comfort zone and that are fun and be authentic to yeah. your aviation journey and, and don't people will people will follow yeah. if you're if you're trying to do something that you might not have expertise in if if I try to be a stool pilot and show all these videos it's probably not gonna go that well so just be authentic to who you are and what you want to go and I think that's what cool. uh, 
think don't do it because you're trying to be famous on YouTube. Yeah. Do it because you like what yeah. you're doing yeah. and you enjoy doing it. Yeah. What would be one piece of advice to give new YouTubers? Start and go to school with every video. You know, just what's working, what's not working, and learn how to edit and you know, just just start. Yep. You got what would be one piece of advice to give new YouTubers? Um. <laughs> what do you think would be a good thing to say? To, if someone's starting out, somebody that only has maybe one follower, you've got 16, you got a bunch. What would you say? Okay, you need to... Well, you can do what you love. Hey folks, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that. That was just a uh, short snippet of all the stuff we had. We had over two days of video and uh, that was the, the good stuff that we put together. So we really appreciate you taking time to watch that. Now, for 2021, we're going to be at Whiteside County Airport, just west of Chicago, uh, about 140 south of 140 nautical miles south of Oshkosh. And it's going to be the weekend just, be at the, just before Oshkosh. So if you were planning on Oshkosh 21, Definitely think about coming up to Whiteside County Airport. We're going to have about 45 YouTubers, um, all different channels and whatnot, but aviation content creators. It should be a fun time. They're going to do, they're going to do a 5K run out on the runway uh, Saturday morning, so that should be kind of fun, 1836, so get your, uh, get your shoes on for that. Should be good. Going to have free camping, uh, free parking, that kind of stuff. It should be a great time. A lot of hotels next uh, near, nearby. Um, check it out. There should be a lot of stuff on the interwebs to go check that out. And it's going to be July 23, 24, and 25 of 2021. And it's the Aviation Content Creators Award Gathering, but the awards are only really one night. That's not a big deal. We're going to have three days and nothing but a bunch of aviation YouTubers out there pulling a whole bunch of video, doing all sorts of stuff. If you have any questions, come talk to them, and they might even have some, uh, some uh, tips and hints that you can get from them. Going to have a ton of airplanes, should have some neat aircraft, uh, vintage, antique aircraft, and that kind of stuff. Should be a busy time. So we hope to see you there. In the meantime, make sure you please like, subscribe, uh, notify, and share uh, this channel. Uh, that's that's uh, what we're doing is we're trying to bring more stuff to you, this kind of stuff. So uh, hope to see you in 21. In the meantime, have a great time over the holidays. Be safe, fly, and enjoy. Catch you later. Hangar Rats out.